let's talk about plate tectonics. What is it and how does it work? Before we get into plate tectonics, we need to know where this all started, an idea called continental drift. Continental drift is a theory that our continents have moved over time. Millions of years ago, a supercontinent incorporated basically all of the Earth's land masses, and over time, split apart into the world as we know it today. This supercontinent was called Pangaea, and separated into two main continents called Laurasia, which was in the north, and Gondwana land in the south. The land masses continued to move until we ended up with our continents that we're familiar with. This movement is still happening, which means that in a million years' time, things will probably look different again. Geologists and cartographers put forward this idea of continental movement, but they couldn't quite explain why it seemed that continents had drifted across the ocean. It wasn't until much later on that we discovered the real reason behind the movement of our continents – convection currents in the mantle. The Earth's crust sits on top of the mantle and is divided into tectonic plates, which have been slowly moving over millions of years. This is what we call the theory of plate tectonics. Convection currents drive the movement of the crust above it. The heat from the core causes hot magma to rise up to the crust where it cools. The magma then sinks back down to the bottom of the mantle where it is reheated. These cycles continue over and over again. We're going to look at what happens where these tectonic plates meet. Let's zoom in to see what's happening. Here we have the mantle, and here we have the crust, divided into oceanic and continental. If you need a refresher on the Earth's internal structure, you can watch this video next. Back to our diagram. As we look at the mechanics of plate tectonics, I'm going to be referring to these main areas. Here and here. Like I said earlier, the magma in the mantle heats up and rises towards the crust. In this case, the currents are diverging, which means they are separating. Since the crust sits on top of the mantle, it will replicate this movement. The two plates will move away from each other, creating what we call a divergent plate boundary that is constructive. Now, let's extend the mantle a little bit. There will be more convection currents next to the ones we just looked at. The magma at the top of the mantle has now cooled and will sink. This movement causes the two plates to move towards each other, creating what we call a convergent plate boundary that is destructive. This is very simplified, but the basic mechanics of this are enough to understand how plate tectonics work. The points where the tectonic plates meet are called plate boundaries. Now, as we've just seen, the movement of the magma in the mantle will determine what type of plate boundary will exist between the different plates. Plates can move away from each other, towards each other, or even slide next to each other. I'll be going into more detail about the different types of plate boundaries in my next video. I hope you found this helpful. As always, thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me over on TikTok and Instagram. I'll have my handle somewhere here on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe. I hope you're having a lovely day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!